Hello YouTube, what is up and welcome to a universe sim tutorial of some description, one of the first ones I've done, so please bear with me. This is to unlock Highlander as you can see on the screen right now, this makes your nuggets immortal, or they live forever unless killed by an external force or disease, external force being uh, weather etc. Uh, they are late sleepers so they tend to sleep for longer than other nuggets and once infected the nuggets spread disease like wildfire. To unlock them, you have to complete all of the quests in game. So the first one is the Book of Love, and all you need to do for that one is the first two nuggets you get, link them together with a Cupid spell. Then for the second, you have to do name the newborn, and all you have to do is the first two twins you get from the first two nuggets is change the names to anything of your choice, and that will complete that quest. Nice and simple. The next one in the list is back breaking work and this one just requires the new nuggets um, to build this second or third house and you will have to help them by providing the stone and wood that is required to complete it. Upon doing so, the quest is complete. Fourth one being find my lost nugget. Nice and easy this one if you choose the game. So go to the person of the quest giver. You can click on the child there, locates you straight to the missing nugget and then using your telekinesis spell. You can pick them up out uh, from the three deadly wolves that are going to eat him or her. It depends on which way you get it. Drop them off at the epicenter gently because you don't want to kill them. And that is that quest complete. Lake cleansing, all you need to do is fix the pollution within that lake. You can force it by chucking corpses of animals into a lake to speed it up. Immediately do that and then use your trickle power to remove and cleanse the lake, completing the quest. Next one is the last expeditionist. This one's quite simple and it's unlocked as soon as you unlock the uh, research for clothing, then you will get this quest and all you have to do is change it from a warmer wi warmer month to winter and that will complete the quest for this one. Food discovery is researching a farm and placing it. Then the farmer will ask you to find any any crop using the telekinesis power to put it in the farm and complete the quest. Next one, once you've completed the research for the material refinement, you'll just have to wait for a house to catch on fire. Simply using your trickle spell to put out the fire will complete the quest. Broken heart can be triggered at any time you wish on the basis that all you need to do is use your Lecupido spell to make someone fall in love that is already with somebody else and then it gives you a quest to kill the cheetah and from me there look i'm um, just pick them up and drop them and quest complete after researching mining and placing a mine you will get the root of the problem quest all you need to do is a giant tentacle is strike it with lightning you can use other things but lightning is the best because it's the quickest uh, it'll pop up each time and you have to do it about five times as you can see on this i'm cutting through it there is a le decent delay between him popping up and uh, going back down again but up on destroying him you then have to build the expedition camp over the top you don't have to finish it you just have to start it by researching speleology research as you just seen there if you're enjoying this tutorial, a subscribe and a like would be fantastic if you could take the time. Thank you. Tesla's Quandary is activated by researching electricity. Uh, you will unlock the ability to build a battery, put that down, and then the little mini quest is you have to find the three parts to that battery, collect them with telekinesis and place them on the battery. They can be anywhere on the planet, however they do stand out with quite a large black to purple smoke plume on each of the three items. So this is part one, and all you have to do again, telekinesis power over to the battery. Part two, exactly the same. And the third one, completing the battery altogether, instant complete. And then to finish the quest, you need to use your lightning spell to charge it. The Nugget's first enemy is upon researching the logging camp and placing it you'll get a request from one of the nuggets to wipe out the trees in the area that they are. You can see that depicted by this giant red circle. All you have to do is put up a few trees. Once you've destroyed enough, the quest will complete. I drop them in a lake so that I don't accidentally squash someone and kill them. 
Dead Nugget should trigger upon having a cemetery that is staffed and uh, Nugget is dead and decaying. That will then require you to use your rejuvenation spell and then telekinesis to put the body in any cemetery close by. Healer Nugget will trigger upon your first Nugget getting a sickness, as in like the plague. And all you have to do is use your rejuvenation spell on them to heal them and that will complete that quest. Gone Green is one of the most difficult ones I've found to figure out what it meant. And actually what it means is you need to get your atmosphere of your planet below 60. Somewhere between 60 and 70 the quest should trigger. And then simply just plant some trees after the fact to complete the quest like so. As an idea, the quickest way to delete all the trees on the planet to get the quest to proc is using a meteor spell on the trees. Of course, in game you won't have as much creative points as I have here on this tutorial, uh, but it is possible over time. Alternatively, you can drain the lakes as well, which will happen over time also, just don't top them up. Both of them will work towards your atmosphere reducing and allowing you to do this quest. Once complete, you can then fix the planet and get it back to how it was pre-quest. Sitting on Powder is a quest that is set from the researching of gunpowder from your discovery points. Then you need to wait for the next election to happen. It will then be triggered for the person that wants to do right to arms. You then have to use your resources to make sure that they win. And after they win, as above, Sitting on Powder will be complete. Upon completing that quest, that should be all of the quests completed, unlocking Highlander for you in your next playthrough. For reference, there is no pop-up when it does complete, you just have to restart to the game and you'll see it is available. If this did help you, please click like. Thank you very much for your time. Take care. Goodbye.